In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this text-based t-shirt design from scratch using free tools. This is actually inspired by someone asking a question in my Discord community server, which in case you didn't know, is totally free to join. There's over 3,000 people in there helping each other out on their print-on-demand journeys. I answer questions in there as well on a daily basis. So if you want to join, there will be a link in the description. It's totally free. And yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So I'm going to be using Photo P for this process, which is a free Photoshop alternative and it's also web based. I will leave a link to this tool in the description so you can follow along. All you have to do here is click on new project and then copy the same settings that I've got over here, which are ideal for t-shirts and then just click create. And now we're going to start adding some text to this. So select the type tool from uh, your sidebar or hit T on your keyboard, click anywhere on the app board and then start typing out whichever sentence you want to use. I'm going to use people say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. Starting off with people right here. As you can see, it's really small. So what I'm going to do now is hit control A to select all this text and then change the size up here to 800 pixels. That way we can actually see what's going on. And I'm also going to align this to center. And by the way, the font that I'm using for this design is called Shaw Kind. I will leave a link to this in the description as well. If you want to use the same font, I found it on Creative Fabrica, but you do alternatively have a lot of pre-installed fonts right here within Photo P. And if you do want to load your own font or Shaw Kind, you just have to click on this button over here and that way you can have it imported into Photo P. So let's begin with getting our sentence right here typed out. I'm going to use an individual type layer for each line of text. That'll just make it a bit easier to resize things. So people say nothing is, it's going to be my next line. I'm going to go back to the move tool and then make sure you've got transform controls enabled right here so you can resize this box and kind of make it all a bit of an even size. So I'm going to make people bigger, draw this down a bit and then hit alt and drag to copy this layer of text down and then once again, change it. So people say nothing is impossible next. And once again, I'm going to resize this with the bounding box. So I'm just going to type out this sentence in this fashion right here, and then we're going to move on to the next step. Right, so now I'm going to add some colorful stripes that we are then going to overlay onto this text right here. And we're going to use the rectangle tool for this. So select that from your toolbar and then just click on the outboard because I want to use some specific dimensions for this. Specifically, we want 720 pixels in width and for the height we need to deselect the aspect ratio right here and for the height we're just going to choose 5400 pixels and hit ok and now we've got a box right here that we can align to the top left and if you go back to the rectangle tool you can change the color so let's change this to a nice blue to begin with and then copy this box over by just selecting it with the move tool and holding down alt then if you drag over see right here we can create a new box just leave a tiny gap in between and then repeat this process a few times like so until you have six boxes with a fairly even gap between them and then what we can do is we can first of all recolor all of these boxes to create a bit of a nice color scheme. So I'm going to go to the first one right here, change that to a bit of a different green right here, then move on to the next. You can Google for color schemes right here or just copy the same one that I'm using. But ideally, you'll want to use some colors that are either all light or all dark. That way, it'll be easier to see them if they're printed on a t-shirt. Right, so here we go. I've got the color scheme sorted out. Feel free to screenshot this and use the color picker if you want to use the exact same colors yourself. I've also made sure that these boxes cover the entire ad board. And now I'm going to group all of the boxes or shapes into one folder right here. Just call this shapes. And I'm also going to group the text over here into a new folder. And with the shapes, what we want to do is we want to transform this and sort of turn it on its side. That way we get that diagonal streak effect. And once you've got it turned or rotated slightly, you can define the exact number up here. So I want it to be minus 45 degrees. And then I also want to increase the size of these boxes to 150%. There we go. That way it covers more 
of this artboard. And what we can do now is we can right click on the text group right here on the text box and select merge layers. Once we've merged the layers, we can hold down control and left click on this thumbnail over here in the layers panel. That's going to select all of our text. And now we can click on the shapes group or the shape folder. And while we have that selected, we want to go down to add raster mask. And now if you hide the text, you want to see this sort of streak effect over here. Pretty, pretty neat. And if we hide the background layer as well, you can see that this uh, stripe or these stripes have been taken out of the lettuce and the t-shirt is going to be printing through that. Or the, the t-shirt fabric, I should say, is going to be showing through those stripes. And if you want to adjust this slightly, you can also do that. You could move the mask around by clicking into the mask right here in the layers panel and you could adjust individual pieces. You could also unlink this right here, click into the mask and then move the entire thing like so. You could increase or decrease the text. You could move it around, up or down, as you can see right here, to make some slight adjustments if you have some letters being cut off. And I think you get the gist right there. I'm doing this whilst being inside of the layer mask right here, by the way. And once you're done, you can just click Confirm and then hide the background. And if you want to export or save your file, just go over to the File menu, click Export as PNG, and then you can give it a name and save it to your device. If you're interested, in some more t-shirt design tutorials then make sure to check out this one next where i use a combination of dal e3 and adobe illustrator